Live Assist Definition A cyst is a small sac or capsule packed with fluid, cells, or other material sort of like a balloon. Liver cysts are abnormal sacs in the liver that may contain fluid or a solid mass of cells. Usually, liver cysts do not cause symptoms or require any treatment. Sometimes, however, if the cysts become large, a person may experience pain or other symptoms that require treatment. Liver cysts are fluid-filled sacs that form in the liver. They are benign growths, meaning they aren't cancerous. These cysts generally don't require treatment unless symptoms develop, and they rarely affect liver function. Pathophysiology and Etiology Simple Cysts The cause of simple liver cysts is not known, but they are believed to be congenital in origin. The cysts are lined by biliary type epithelium, and perhaps result from progressive dilatation of biliary microhamatomas. Because these cysts seldom contain bile, the current hypothesis is that the microhamatomas fail to develop normal connections with the biliary tree. Typically, the fluid within the cyst has an electrolyte composition that mimics plasma. Bile, amylase, and white blood cells are absent. The cyst fluid is continually secreted by the epithelial lining of the cyst. For this reason, needle aspiration of simple cysts is not curative, and recurrence is the norm. Polycystic liver disease Adult PCLD, at PCLD, is congenital and is usually associated with autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease, at PKD. Mutations in these patients have been identified in PKD1 and PKD2 genes. Occasionally, PCLD has been reported in the absence of polycystic kidney disease, PKD. In these patients, a third gene, protein kinase C substrate ATKH, PRKCSH, has been identified. Despite these differences in genotype, patients with PCLD are similar phenotypically. Neoplastic cysts Liver tumors with central necrosis visualized on imaging studies are often misdiagnosed as liver cysts. True intrahepatic neoplastic cysts are rare. The cause of cystadenomas and cystadenocarcinomas is unknown, but they may represent proliferation of abnormal embryonic analogs of the gallbladder or biliary epithelium. These cystic tumors are lined with biliary type cuboidal or columnar cells and are surrounded by ovarian like stroma. Cystadenoma is a premalignant lesion with neoplastic transformation to cystadenocarcinoma confirmed by tubulopapillary architecture and invasion of the basement membrane. Hydated cysts Hydated cysts are caused by infestation with the parasite Echinococcus granulosus. This parasite is found worldwide but it is particularly common in areas of sheep and cattle farming. The adult tapeworm lives in the digestive tract of carnivores, such as dogs or wolves. Eggs are released into the stool and are inadvertently ingested by the intermediate hosts, such as sheep, cattle, or humans. The egg larvae invade the bubble wall and mesenteric vessels of the intermediate host, allowing circulation to the liver. In the liver, the larvae grow and become encysted. The hydrated cyst develops an outer layer of inflammatory tissue and an inner germinal membrane that produces daughter cysts. When carnivores ingest the liver of the intermediate host, the scoliosis of the daughter cysts are released in the small intestines and grow into adult worms, thus completing the life cycle of the worm. Hepatic abscesses Hepatic abscesses can be amoebic or bacterial in origin. Entamoeba histolytica is the causative agent in amoebic abscesses. It is contracted by ingestion of food or water contaminated by the cyst stage of the parasite. Amoebiasis generally only involves the intestine but can invade the mesenteric venules resulting in liver abscesses. Its only host is the human. Pugenic abscesses can be a result of instrumentation but are most often caused by ascending cholangitis in the setting of biliary obstruction. Microorganisms isolated are most often bubble flora. Other routes of contamination include the portal vein and hepatic artery. Patients with intra-abdominal infections may present with liver abscesses with extension of bacteria through the portal venous system. Hematogenous spread via the hepatic artery in patients with septicemia is rare. Clinical manifestations Most liver cysts cause no symptoms at all. That's why most people who have one don't know it. But in some cases, 
Usually when the cyst is large, a liver cyst can cause the following symptoms. Bloating. Pain in the upper right part of stomach or abdomen. An abdomen that feels full or uncomfortable. Pain in right shoulder. When a liver cyst causes pain, that pain tends to be minor and dull. Sudden, severe pain could mean that there is bleeding into the cyst. Diagnostic evaluation. History taking, a thorough medical, surgical, family, personal habits, occupational, socio-economic history with sign and symptoms is taken. Physical examination, they will do a physical exam, focusing on abdominal swelling and any yellow in the whites of the eyes. These are both reliable indicators of liver problems. Blood tests, these include tests for blood clotting, levels of other substances in the blood, and proportions of red and white blood cells and platelets. Liver function test. Viral hepatitis tests, the doctor will check for hepatitis B and C. USG, to find out the nature, numbers and characteristics of the liver cyst. Imaging scans, an MRI or CT scan can provide a clear picture of the size and spread of the cancer. Biopsy, a surgeon removes a small sample of cystic tissue for analysis. The results can reveal the type of cysts. Laparoscopy. This is an outpatient surgical procedure that takes place under general or local anesthetic. A surgeon inserts a long, flexible tube with a camera attached through a cut in the abdomen. The camera allows the doctor to see the liver and the surrounding area. Manigament. If liver cyst isn't causing symptoms, the doctor may not treat it at all. If client does have symptoms, the doctor may choose to simply drain the fluid from cyst. In some cases, the doctor might also want to perform surgery to remove part of the cyst so that it can't fill with fluid again. This surgery is usually laparoscopic, which means it requires just a few small cuts and a night or two in the hospital. In most cases, the client will be back to normal within two weeks of surgery. After surgery, liver cysts almost never come back. If client has a cystic liver tumor, the only way to know whether it is benign or cancerous is to surgically remove the entire growth and examine it carefully. People do very well when the surgeon is able to remove the entire tumor during surgery. Complications Intracystic hemorrhage Biliary fistula Rupture Infection Obstructive jaundice Malignancy Portal vein occlusion and varices Portal hypertension and Bhatiari syndrome. So, guys, thanks for watching my video. You can like and comment on my video, but don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel to watch quality content like this. Thank you, guys.